Hi, and welcome back to Google Part 3. We are on video number 6 of the series, and this is how to create the homework page. So we already know how to create a new page in Google Sites, so I will go through this quickly. Instead of using the web page option though, you will want to drop down that, that option and choose the list option. It's still at top level and we click create. That's the only difference on this page. Now there are four options on creating your own lists. You can use action items, issue list, unit status, or create your own. We are going to use a create your own. Go ahead and click use template. Now, the most difficult part on the homework page is trying to decide which columns and which um, rows you would like to use. And so that is the most difficult part. So I like to start with the date or day of the week. So you can decide how you want to make that work. I'm going to use the date. I'm going to add a column. And my next column will be history. Uh, let's choose American history since I've decided I'm going to use um, history for my content area. On the date one, pull down your tab and make sure you choose date for that one. I forgot to tell you that. Okay, on the new column, I'm going to choose four different classes. So I'm going to choose American history, European history, Mm, let's choose world history and I will choose AP history and we'll go ahead and save this one. Now when you're ready to add items to your page, all you have to do is click add items instead of edit. So we're going to go ahead and click add items. I'm going to choose the day. So we're going to start on the 24th of September, just I'm doing it randomly. And my American history students will have to read pages 55 through 126. My European history students will have to study for test number one. My world history students will create digital story and my AP history kids will create their web quest. And so you can go in and you can use caps or non-caps um, it doesn't really matter. I'm changing mine to caps. So that's what I want them to do for Monday. I hit save. So you'll notice that on Monday, September 24th, these are the items that they need to do. Then I can add another item, choose the date. Let's say we're on block schedule. Actually, I'm going to choose the 18th. I'm going to, because I only chose five classes, I'm actually going to enter in something every day. The requirement is that you have a total of 20 items. And so if we have four classes, five days during the week, each day will need something. So you'll go in and you will type in other homework that they have for each day of the week. They will line up and you are ready to do the last thing on this page, which if you notice, files and comments. So let's go ahead and go into more, go into page settings, and we already know how to do this. I'm going to show it in the sidebar, hit save. This page is now in the sidebar and this page is now done. Join me again for video number seven and creating the announcements page.